Hey guys, so uh, I'm post op by just under 24 hours. I said I'd make you a video as best as I could, so here I am. To say I feel rough would be an understatement. My throat's hurting. I've drunk about 20 pints of water. Um, I'm currently on a drip, which you can see behind me as well, going in by here. And this drip is. This uh, needle is what they used to actually put me to sleep with uh, yesterday, um, of which I ended up having two operations. Um, first operation was obviously breast reduction, the uh, perioreola surgery, and sorry, so hard to breathe. And the they basically noticed um, that I had lost three pints of blood within about half an hour or so of being out of surgery so um, they rushed me back in again but I was still quite dazed with what was going on I, I wasn't quite sure what was happening um, and only found out afterwards um, and then sort of put the cherry on the cake a couple of years ago um, I found a lump in my chest which I obviously had checked for cancer and it wasn't so they said instead of cutting out then They'd leave it till I had my top surgery, which was obviously expected to happen a couple of years ago, but it didn't happen till now. And my doctor or the surgeon has said that she's actually quite surprised that that hasn't turned and spread into cancer, and that I was damn lucky basically. So for me, it was a bit. It was like I literally hit a brick wall. Um, Sorry, um, it was quite hard to hear, um, and my mum definitely found it quite difficult to hear that. That you know, I was lucky basically to get away without having cancer in my chest. So, um, yeah, it's been a very hard 24 hours, um, a very painful 24 hours. I haven't slept much, as you can probably see. Um, so, yeah, uh, the swelling isn't too bad on my chest, it's quite flat, considering what I've seen before. Um, the hospital I'm staying in is amazing. I've got a TV, radio, ensuite bathroom. Everything's made of glass or real wood. It's just amazing. Um, I can put my arms up, sort of there. This one probably higher. The right side isn't too uh, too bad. It's the left side, which is the side they have to operate on twice. Um, and the bruising is insane. Um, I should be able to show you, actually. But the doctor actually took the bind off this morning. And it pretty damn good, so I was quite chuffed with that. But yeah, so you can see how black that is. Sort of all around here. So yeah, not good. I'm not going to take it all the way off because putting it on will probably be far too painful again. Um, and plus, to be honest, my concentration levels right now aren't all that great. Just trying to get it to clip on together. It was something a three-year-old could do, I'm finding quite difficult. Because <sighs> it's so painful to breathe. Like what you know, and spend all day taking those short little breaths gets to a moment where you want to just take one big deep one. And they've taught me how to do it, apparently I've got to lean my head right back. Like that, so... But even still... I don't get why these lights will come on. Oops. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to switch the main lights on. They left uh, last night when I went to bed, they left, they switched all the lights off, apart from the one LED bloody little round shiny thing right above my head, and I was like, great, I've got a light on my back, and I can't put the duvet over my eyes, and I've got an LED, like, something equivalent to about 400 watts probably shining in my face, so yeah, it's uh, irritating to say the least, and then she'd like, come in a couple of times, since having the surgery. 
since having the surgery. I've had to have my blood pressure um, um, fluids checked every two hours. That included last night. And she basically did say to me that if I was okay at midnight, then she would leave me for the rest of the night. But midnight's actually when I started getting some chronic pain in my chest. So she ended up coming to see me all night anyway. So I'm shy. So yeah. I've got this red stuff all over me, as you can probably see. My mum thought... You can see it there. I think my mum thought it was like some sort of rash. But, um... The nurse actually washed some of it off this morning. So, um... Yeah, because it's everywhere. I think it's the stuff they used. Uh, for the surgery. Yeah, so, a bit weird, because uh, the last time I had surgery, the stuff they used was yellow, or orangey, kind of yellow. So I don't know if it's actually changed. But anyway, yeah, so, just a quick update to keep you guys posted. Um, so far, so good. Touch wood. Touch lots of wood. But, um, yeah, it's quite painful. Incredibly so. And I'll leave you go now. So I can stop talking, basically. So, uh, thanks for your support. And everyone that's messaged me. It's overwhelming, really, it is. And, uh, I'll keep you posted anyway. And, uh, I'll see you whenever I see you next. Okay? Bye, guys.